acromioclavicular joint injury. The acromioclavicular joint sometimes is called the AC joint. So let's understand the anatomy. Two groups of ligaments are involved. The first group is the AC ligaments and that control the anterior, posterior, or horizontal stability. The posterior superior ligament is important. And then you have the crococlavicular ligaments that stabilizes the superior or the vertical migration of the clavicle, and it's called conoid and trapezoid ligaments. Remember, the distance from the top of the cricoid to the inferior surface of the clavicle is called the CC distance, and that is less than 12 millimeter. An injury to the AC joint occurs in a progressive degree to the stabilizing structures. These injuries are classified according to the degree of the injury, the amount and the direction of displacement into six types. Type 1 is a sprain. Type 2 is partial tear. The crococlavicular ligament is intact. Type 3 is complete tear and the clavicle is displaced. Type 4, posterior displacement. Type 5, very high displacement, more than 100% displacement. Type 6, inferior displacement. So when you look at them clinically, type 1 is a sprain at the point of the shoulder, at the AC joint. Type 2 is partial displacement because the croco clavicular ligament is intact, so the clavicle is not displaced a lot, superiorly or vertically. Type 3, the AC and the CC ligaments are ruptured with superior displacement of the clavicle up to 100% of the width. Type 4, the clavicle is displaced posteriorly, and you probably will need to get an axillary view to check that. Type 5, greater than 100% displacement, you will see that very obvious clinically, and the deformity is not reducible. Type 6, inferior displacement of the clavicle. The clavicle lies under the acromion and the crocoid. Injuries to the AC joint sometimes are apparent and the patient will point to the area of the pain and the patient may have deformity. You will get an x-ray, but sometimes the displacement is difficult to assess on plain x-ray. Zenka view may be helpful. The beam is directed with cephalad angle of 10 degrees and use 50% penetration. How do you treat these injuries? The treatment is usually without surgery. Some cases may need surgery. Some people believe from type 1 to type 3, the treatment usually non-operative. You will give the patient a sling for one week, then range of motion. And the patient will have a residual bump, but there will be no correlation between reduction and functional range of motion, strength, or pain. Some people believe that reduction and fixation of type 3 by surgery may carry a risk. You will replace the bump with a scar and the clinical outcome is the same. If you want to use hardware like hook plate, the patient may need another surgery to remove the hardware and patient may develop arthritis of the AC joint after surgery. So some people believe that if the deformity is less than 2 cm, the patient can be treated conservatively. And if the deformity is more than 2 cm, traditionally, this patient 
were defined as surgical candidate. Recent studies are disputing that. They say there is no clinical difference in the functional outcome. Although these patients treated conservatively are worse in cosmesis, but they have an earlier return to work. So surgery will have a higher rate of complication. Even with type 4, 5, and 6, recent data may support non-operative treatment. The patient will have residual prominence and the pain can last for about six months, but will improve. There is no correlation between reduction of the AC joint and the pain, the strength, or the motion. In general, there is no difference in the outcome between immediate surgery and delayed surgery after six weeks of non-operative treatment. So you can try conservative treatment first. So when do you do the surgery on the AC joint? You do surgery in some selective group of young active athletes and people who perform manual labor and also in those who have chronic injury with pain. So how do you do the surgery? There is really no uniformity. So you work on the CC fixation or the AC fixation. You can do the surgery by stabilizing the CC interval. So you use suture anchor buttons placed in the crocoid or sutures passed around the crocoid. Then you may want to do weaver done procedure. You may want to use the crocoacromial ligament to help in the surgical stability of the AC joint. You transfer that ligament to the clavicle. You leave it at the coracoid. You transfer it from the acromion to the clavicle, and that will give about 20% of the native strength of the CC ligament. If you work on the CC fixation alone, you may translate the clavicle anteriorly due to lack of competent AC ligament. There is another technique which you work on the AC fixation. Fix the problem. The problem with the AC joint, fix the AC joint. And you can use a hook plate. Hook plate got several problems. Number one, not all hospitals have hook plate. You got to order that. The second one is the hook plate may need augmentation of the ligaments. The third one is the hook plate needs to be removed later on. And the hook plate is not without complication. How about chronic cases? You will need to do some tendon reconstruction. So the augmentation is usually with the tendon graft from the clavicle to the coracoid. And it doesn't matter which procedure that's done, loss of reduction can occur and it usually does not affect the result of the treatment. So in chronic symptomatic dislocation, use augmented tendon graft. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.